Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. But who delight is in the law of the Lord and who mediates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in the season and whose leaves do not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like the chaff that blows away in the wind. Therefore the wicked will not stand in judgment nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. You know, for the past few weeks we played um, a friend who holds faith very dear to her heart. And we had her tell stories about her daughter and how faith has changed her life. And faith changes everyone's lives it helps us get through some of the tougher times and right now um, a family that uh, that that listens to this particular podcast they're going through a time because their sister has left them and she is now I know I believe that she is with God and um, because she again held faith dear to her and she did things not only in the name of God but in the name of the right things to do to support people's dreams especially when they're positive to try to help people find knowledge and those things are, are very important. So, um, our prayers to that particular family as they go through this time that they need to grieve and remember the, the person who has left them. So, blessed is the one who walks, who Blessed is the one who does not walk in the step of the wicked. You know, I, it reminds me of the, the everyone's heard um, the the old saying. Well, if um, your 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 friend was going to jump off the off the Brooklyn Bridge or the London Bridge or whatever tall bridge we can think of, would you do it too? Knowing that you're going to jump and head straight to your own demise. Would you do that? Well, that's kind of what this is actually saying. If you're going to walk in step with the, with the wicked, as it's put it, or stand with the sinners, are you not going to suffer the same fate? As those same sinners. So. We try to walk. And hold ourselves. In the in the type of light. That God wants us to be in. He wants us to stand. For. Those who have faith. Those who. Want to hold love in their heart. And in today's 
happenings it, it, that becomes kind of difficult um, when we're hearing so much propaganda about these guys are the are 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 evil and these guys are the good guys and at either end of that propaganda neither one of them are actually the good guy or or the bad guy or maybe they're both the, the either either end of that propaganda is the bad guys and it's the people that are caught in the middle or that are really the good guys they're the ones that are trying to hold love in their hearts and try try to have a safe happy home they're the ones who are who are praying and being grateful for what God has actually given them and not praying for the demise of the other side prayer doesn't really work that way anyhow I had saw um, an infographic one time it's like if you're praying for something make sure that you start by praying for all those things that you already given and be grateful for those first then ask for something more see th the thing is 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 as we're watching these wars happen and oh this government is good and that government is evil that's not true the good guys are the ones that that they're the, the the civilians the ones who are just trying to live their lives simply because they're the ones that are actually holding faith in God they're the ones that are that in the end are being squished for holding faith in God also we hear all the all these things about oh all those according to the to to the propaganda all those all those people that that, that would claim to be this they're terrorists and they're trying to kill the good people and that's not always the truth the truth is who's the guy that goes to work every day and comes home just to be with his family he's not taking up any arms against anyone if we follow in the ways of Jesus Christ we don't need to take up arms it doesn't mean that we don't need to push back against injustice because that's part of it Jesus wanted us to push back against injustice because that's what he was doing God sent him to us so that we would have that as part of our example to learn to push against the injustices and not just follow without thought follow oh well they're the government we have to do what they say because that is what what we're supposed to do blindly no that isn't what we were he wanted us to do he wanted us it doesn't mean that we have to start an armed coup it does what it does mean though is that we send letters and we stand and we talk and spread the ideas of love of faith and if our government isn't doing the same thing if our media systems aren't doing the same thing our health systems aren't doing the same thing then we're supposed to speak out against that that is what we're supposed to do don't walk its step with the wicked if the wicked is harming people then speak against it
because there that is where our delight will come because we stood for those we stood for that love that God puts to us we didn't try to to point the finger at oh th those people over there are wicked what we did is we we moved away from them so the people could see the example that you have of God's kindness your faith in God's kindness and God's love they could see the justice that God has for us because you stepped away from the wicked and showed them that there was a different example. That's what we're supposed to do. Don't point fingers saying that, oh, they're over there, they're the sinners. That's taking it straight back to where God doesn't want us to be. Just live that example. Live a good life. And live in faith of our Holy Father, our Creator. Follow the examples that our brother in God gave us in Jesus Christ. Why don't we pray about that so that we get filled with God's Spirit, His love pray that Lord you help us see who is the wicked so that we can stand as an example of your love so that we can stand aside and show the world what it means to be part of the family of love that you offer help us to fill our hearts with the faith the love that helps everyone live better, to live in your light. Amen. Hey, um, I did bring up um, our friend uh, Laura Lane, and if everyone could go to strongerplanner.com and help support those planners that, you know, she's doing wonderful work trying to support um, those parents that have sick children so they can follow yeah maybe the not so good times but they can follow the good times the medications what's been working what hasn't been working so that they can stand for their children the same as she stood for her little girl Celeste